Jana, Niroda and Nibbana. <coughs> At this point let us examine another way of distinguishing kinds of Nibbana. Besides starting, stating that attainment of Jhana is a good basis for realizing Nibbana, the Buddha sometimes used the term Jhana to imply Nibbana or to show related features. For example, the Buddha referred to the four fine material jhanas, the four immaterial jhanas, and the cessation of perception and feeling. Sanya Veda Yitta Niroda as temporary nibbana. Tadang Tadanga Nibbana, alternatively, Nibbana by substitution of opposites. Visible Nibbana, Ditta Dhamma Nibbana, and Nibbana to be seen by oneself, Sanditika Nibbana, respectively. <coughs> Further examples of Nibbana being used in connection with spiritual attainments include a bhikkhu secluded from sensual pleasure, secluded from unwholesome states, attains the first jhana. <coughs> Even this much the blessed one calls direct nibbana by representation. Going beyond the sphere of neither perception nor non-perception, attaining the cessation of perception and feeling by seeing with the wisdom, all cankers are destroyed. Even this much the Blessed One calls direct, immediate Nibbana. A practitioner of insight meditation understands form, feeling, perception, volitional formations and consciousness as impermanent subject to pressure and subject to change. <coughs> he abandons sorrow, lamentation, etc., is free from agitation and worry and dwells happily. He is said to be quenched in that respect, Tadanga Nibbana. When a person is over <coughs> when a person is overwhelmed by lust, hatred and delusion, then he plans for his own harm. For the harm of others, for the harm of both, and he experiences in his mind suffering and grief. But when lust, hatred and delusion have been abandoned, he neither plans for his own harm, nor for the harm of others, nor for the harm of both, and he does not experience in his mind suffering and grief. In this way, Nibbana is directly visible, timeless, inviting one to come and see to be brought within and realized, to be personally experienced by the wise. The Patisambi da Maga divides Niroda, which is an important synonym for Nibbana, into five categories. One Vikam Bana Niroda, the suppression of the five aggregates in the first jhana, in fact, all eight concentrative attainments, samapati, i.e. the four fine material and the four immaterial jhanas, count as vikam bana niroda, because while abiding in all of these states and wholesome qualities, example, the hindrances are temporarily still. <coughs> to tadanga niroda, the stage at which concentration, samadhi, begins to dispel defilements, wrong views are vanquished by the substitution of opposite qualities. This stage implies the dispelling of defilements through insight, the use of wisdom to examine the true nature of things, for example, the nature of impermanence, whatever truth is focused on, knowledge arises to eliminate an agnostic views and attachments. For example, seeing oneself or others as merely mind and body, Namarupa dispels the view of fixed identity, Sakaya Diti. Observing impermanence dispels the perception of permanence, <coughs> Nitya Sanya 
Acknowledging dukkha dispels the perception of unchanging happiness, sukhasanya, and reflecting on selflessness dispels the perception of a fixed self, atasanya. This cessation is similar to turning on a light and dispelling darkness, but it is still a temporary cessation. As soon as the light is extinguished, darkness returns. 3. Samu Cheda Niroda The cutting off of defilements by one who develops the super mundane paths, Lokutara Maga, i.e. the paths of Srimantri, Sotapati Maga, once returning, Sagadagami Maga, non-returning, Anagami Maga, and Arahantship, Arahatta Maga. The defilements, example, the ten fetters, cease irrevocably, never to return, like a tree that has been uprooted or shattered by lightning. 4. Pati Pasadi Niroda, the utter stilling of defilements at the moment of super mundane fruition, Lokutara Pala. The noble fruition of stream entry, once returning, non-returning, and arahantship. This is a state of profound tranquility due to the complete removal of mental impurity. 5. Ni Sarana <coughs> Niroda The release from defilements, unabiding, untouched by defilement. This cessation is equivalent to Nibbana also called Amata Datu, deathless element, the state of deliverance. <coughs> the first two qualities, Sri Kambana and Ta Tanga Niroda, are mundane. The remaining three are super mundane. The first four qualities are called Nibbana, indirectly or in some respects, Pari Yaya. The fifth quality re- refers to Nibbana directly, Nipadiyaya, in its full and true meaning. The Patisambhida Maga divides Pahana, abandoning, Viveka, seclusion, Viraga, dispassion, and Vosaga, release, each into five identical <coughs> qualities. <coughs> As with Naroda above, with identical definitions and meanings, the commentaries divide Vimuti, liberation, in the same way. A well-known division into realizations of Nibbana is the division into path, maga, and fruit, pala, or into the four paths and four fruits, i.e. sota, pati, maga, sota, pati, pala, sakidagami, maga, sakidagami, pala, anagami, maga, anagami, pala, arahata, maga, and arahata, pala. This division, however, is made in connection with enlightened beings, who will be discussed in the next chapter. At this point, let me simply remind the reader that Maga and Pala are not Nibbana, but rather stages or levels of realization.